Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll show you how to make an organization chart just like this one in Google Sheets. First thing, I'll delete that so I can show you how I've done it. Now, to start with, you must have two columns. The best way is to have an employee column and then reports to column. It makes it easier for you. So you're saying that this person here, Alan Dixon, reports to Jose Aldo, and Hammer North also reports to Jose Aldo. And then John Orton reports to Alan Dixon, i.e. this person here. So you've got to have two columns. Now in Excel, it's different. I've made a video on how to do this in Excel. It's very different. So two columns. What we then need to do is highlight all of the, uh, all the names. Do not highlight those bits. And I'll show you what happens if you do, but don't do that. So highlight all the names. Then go to insert, chart, and you see that this appears. And on the right hand side, you need to go to chart time, which is currently column chart. Click on that, scroll all the way down until you get down to, in the other section, you've got this organizational chart. Click on that. You can now see it's been created. If you want to make changes to it in the sense of customizing it, double click on the chart and bring this up on the right hand side. Go to customize, click on the org. You can change the size of it and also the colors. So whatever you want. And there you have it. That is your org chart. Now earlier on, I said, do not select these. If you do, I'll show you what happens. So I'll just move it to the side. I'm going to select all of it now. So this is a mistake. I shouldn't be, I should not be selecting employee and reports to, but again, I'll go to insert chart, change it from column chart to org chart. And you can see reports to an employee have been dragged through and they're sat over here. So that's why you shouldn't do it. But if I click on that, I'm going to delete those two, they get deleted as well. Now, something else that is important, I'll delete this one. I'll keep my original one. Move it back into that. I can add in extra names. So we can say that, think of a name of a person. Peter Smith reports to, and you see Peter Smith has now appeared over there, and they report to Simon West. You can now see that Peter Smith has been added to Simon West. So that's how you add in extra people into your org chart. Hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more top tech tips.